If there's one thing about aging we all know, it's that our bodies go through a lot of changes and our height is one of them. From the age 40 onward, we lose an average of a quarter to half an inch of height every 10 years. But this is an average. Some lose more and some don't start shrinking until the age of 70. So what is the difference? And how do we stop shrinking with age? First, let's look at the four main changes that cause us to shrink. The first one, and probably the most minor, is we lose height in the arches of our feet as they flatten over time. Next is the loss of bone density, particularly in your spine. This causes compression fractures, which you in your vertebrae collapse. Coupling this with muscle weakening allows our posture to become hunched over, resulting in a lot of lost height. Another reason we shrink has to do with the discs in our spine. They sit in between our vertebrae and are designed to compress and expand as the spine moves, kind of like a shock absorber, and allows us to move our spine in 360 degrees. As we age, these become dehydrated and compressed. Even gravity will compress these discs over the course of a day. Typically, we'll shrink by half an inch from the time we get up in the morning to the time we go to bed at night. While we sleep, we regain our original size as our discs fill back up with fluid. To keep our discs healthy and fully hydrated, we need to drink enough water. Our bodies will provide the needed hydration to our organs first before anywhere else. And if there isn't enough to go around, then our discs and back will suffer. The amount of water each person needs varies based on things like their size and activity level, with the general recommendation being 3.7 liters for men and 2.7 liters for women. Drinking water isn't the only thing we can do to prevent shrinking. Eating a good whole food diet, including lots of calcium rich foods like spinach, almonds, canned salmon and yogurt, will go a long way to keep our bone density and stave off osteoporosis. From a supplement standpoint, the one I often recommend is vitamin D, as it's hard to get enough from our food and most of us just don't spend enough time outdoors. Vitamin D helps our bodies absorb calcium. A good diet can also help you lose weight and this plays an important role because being overweight can negatively affect your posture, pulling your spine out of alignment and putting unnatural pressure on your discs, damaging them and straining the muscles and ligaments in your back. Strength training and exercise helps keep our muscles strong so we can hold our bodies in proper alignment, enabling us to keep our height through good posture. Exercise does more than just help our muscles. It strengthens our bones too, protecting us from compression fractures, and it does this by putting repetitive stress on the bones, which in turn, the body reacts to by strengthening them. Not every type of exercise has been shown to increase bone density. For example, running and plyometrics increase density more than cycling or swimming, because of the greater stress they put on our bones. Now running and jumping exercises aren't going to be appropriate for everyone in the Fit and 50 crew. So you might want to start with something more moderate like walking. Or my favorite option, resistance training. When we weight train, the force of the muscle pulling on the bone during an exercise is great enough to stimulate increases in bone density. And far less demanding on our joints than jumping or running. It's important to use a heavy enough weight to stimulate bone growth, with the current recommendation being to lift between 70 to 80% of your one rep max, which is a weight where you're reaching failure in the 8 to 12 rep range. Do this at least two to three times a week. To halt shrinking as we age, we need to strengthen the bone density in our spine. A great way to do this is squats, and in particular, front squats, as they put our body in a more upright position, creating an even pressure on the spine. Squats will temporarily compress the discs, but as long as you're well hydrated, they will rebound back to their original size the next day. To discover more ways resistance training fights aging, watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.